This, this area immediately around the facility is a beach resort, uh, Bethany Beach, uh, Fenwick Island area. Uh, it's mostly residential. 12 years, 15 years ago before the economic boom, we were cornfields and chicken houses. Now we're condos and new homes everywhere. So over the past 10 to 15 years within the county, and we own four wastewater treatment plants and over 300 pump stations, we went from uh, wet wells with float balls, six, eight, ten float balls, controlling each action of the pump to SCADA systems where we monitor it 24-7 from a office here at the facility and we access it from our homes and, and can make operational changes from our homes. So it's been a drastic. We can monitor the plant. I'm sitting here right now looking at the plant, seeing every gallon that's coming in here and exactly what's happening. Uh, where 10 years ago, it was a physical, you know, two or three guys going out checking every area of the plant almost every hour. Uh, about 10 years ago or so, we had a DAF system that was producing about a three and a half to four percent sludge. And then we would haul that with two tankers, 6,000 gallon tankers, to uh, we have 174 acres that the county owns specifically for sludge application about 15 miles from this facility. And we would aggate it and uh, we, on the average, it was about 200 loads a season. And we had labor issues, equipment issues, uh, and the window of application time is very small with the farmer. We had issues with land application and the residents that were around the fields. Uh, so it was a constant labor intensive uh, issue, applications, uh, weather related, monitoring, soil monitoring, water monitoring, uh, very expensive, tedious, uh, administrative application, land applying application of Class B. I guess the driving force for the, the Class A here was one, the liquid uh, capacity here was an issue. Uh, the liquid application, labor intensive, uh, the issue with the residents in the area and the bacteria in the Class B sludge. Uh, but the administrative part in this state for Class B is tremendous. Uh, as I mentioned before, the, the monitoring, the soil monitoring, the water monitoring, the paperwork uh, for Class B, for an example, this was one of my uh, yearly reports for Class B sludge. This was a typical binder. My closet has about 10 of these in it. Uh, labor intensive, very costly. Uh, since we went to Class A, this is my Class A report. I would say one of the big benefits was we don't have two million gallons of liquid sludge in our facility, which obviously creates some odor issues. Uh, the, we don't have tankers in and out of this bedroom community, you know, 10 hours a day uh, hauling the liquid. Uh, our dried product, our, our uh, storage area is virtually empty most of the time, uh, so there's not a lot of material, you know, sitting around on hand. Uh, it's it's just a win-win situation, I guess, for us with not dealing with the, all the issues with Class B, liquid Class B. Uh, when we first started looking at the RDP process, the folks at RDP told us that we would have farmers calling us for our product. And again, that was an interesting, uh, interesting thought on our part that that would actually happen. And seven years into it, we have about 18 to 22 farmers that call us on a regular basis. Most of the time, I have to tell them we don't have the product. Uh, we, we distribute on a first come, first serve basis. Uh, it has taken of a nine million gallon a day treatment plant with all the issues, all the equipment issues, communication issues, labor issues, administrative issues, it has taken the sludge almost out of the picture. Well, the Biosolids building has one operator, and we have an, uh, two other operators that are trained in that building, so when that operator is not here, we have someone to run it if we need to. So we went from two tractor-trailer drivers, two aggator drivers, and some fill-ins for those fellows to basically one or two operators. But yeah, the operation is very simple, very simple. The guy comes in in the morning, 
and he has a startup time of about 20 minutes, and then he monitors it uh, from the computer in the in the comfortable office. And he does some lab testing throughout the day, and then the shutdown is about a 45-minute process and cleanup. It's a very simple operation. And after several visits to different WEF conferences, we kept coming back to the RDP for several reasons. Uh, we like the the concept of the Lime edition, uh, the ease of the operation. Uh, and we really did feel like when we when we chose the RDP or when we were discussing and we visited five or six different facilities with RDP operation, that everyone seemed to have the same opinion that it was like a partnership with RDP. It wasn't just you're going to buy this equipment and you know you're on your own kind of thing. It's more of a partnership uh, from the beginning to the end. What RDP said is what happens. Uh, the people that are using the using the, the equipment or distributing the product, it's a win-win situation from the beginning to the end, but you need to do your research to find that out. So you, that's what we did. We, we were 100% uh, confident that we had purchased, researched and purchased equipment that was gonna do what we were told it was gonna do.